Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, another edition of Cooking at My Place. I'm Chef Jason Gibbons. Um, for those of you that tuned into the last episode, uh, we made a chicken pad thai. Um, I enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, or for those of you that had a chance to, to try it at home and do it yourself, uh, I hope it worked out quite well. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing more of a, a maritime Canadian cuisine uh, from Newfoundland. Um, I have a lot of family there, so I've had the privilege of enjoying this dish uh, on many occasions. Um, it's quite similar almost to a chowder. It's a cream-based sauce, like you're making a bechamel sauce, it's basically your basic cream sauce. You're seasoning that with some summer savory, some garlic, some Parmesan. We're gonna put like a cracker crust on top of that mixed with some cheddar cheese, and we're gonna bake that in the oven, and that's gonna come together just brilliant. Um, so what we have for ingredients today, we have just your regular soup crackers, stuff that you'd have at home when you were a kid, putting your chicken noodle soup. Uh, we're gonna crush those up. You wanna crush about a cup of those up. Um, we've got some Dijon mustard. We have some Newfoundland summer savory. Uh, I've pre pre-prepared a roux. So this is basically equal parts uh, all-purpose flour uh, and melted butter or oil, what, what have you. That's gonna be the thickening agent and help tighten up that, that bechamel sauce to make a nice almost alfredo like consistency uh, for our codfish when we put that in. We've got some butter, we've got some cheese, this is shredded marble cheese and don't be dodgy on the amount, don't be afraid to add a little bit more. Uh, somebody really wonderful once told me it's almost like having a chocolate bar and then you finish and it wasn't enough. Always have a check second chocolate bar. Uh, we've got some Parmesan cheese, uh, some salt, we've got a little bit of flour, uh, we've got some fresh lemon. So uh, we've got also going to use some cracked pepper for this dish as well. And we're gonna drop a, just a, a little smidgen of white wine in there just to uh, help give that a little extra flavor. So, where are we gonna start with this dish? We're gonna first scald one cup of milk, one cup of just your regular 2% milk, uh, homogenized, what have you. So, we're gonna turn the heat on on our stove. Just a mid sized pot, you want nothing too big. Copper pots are good insulating pots for cooking sauces like that because they carry good residual heat um, and they're very thick bottom to keep it from scorching things. So, we're gonna add that. And we don't want to bring that milk to a boil. Do not bring that to a boil, we're just scalding it. Bring it just before that, that stage of where it's going to start to boil. You just want it to be steaming a little bit and just a little bit a little bit frothy on top. We're starting to bubble uh, around the edges and then cut the heat on that. And uh, then we're going to add the stage of adding some more seasoning. So we're first going to put a little bit of leaf land savory. We are going to add just a smidgen of Dijon mustard, probably about Half of, a, half of a teaspoon, a pinch of salt, we're going to put some fresh ground pepper in there, and the other ingredients we'll just wait, we're just going to wait for that milk to scald up, uh, in the meantime we're going to get our fish, so as I'm running away for a second, um, I've got fresh Atlantic cod, I brought this right from Newfoundland, this is kind of the inspiration behind what I'm doing with this dish. Um, so I've got about just over half a pound of fish here. Now what I'm preparing today is basically uh, just one serving. Uh, if, like I said, if you want to just post your comments in the comment section, we will uh, add up all the uh, detailed list of ingredients and amounts and quantities. And if you have any questions as to like if you're making more for like four or six people, we can uh, help you over that. So I'm cutting these into about one inch size cube pieces. I've got my crock. So my milk's just about there, it's just about scalded. And I'm gonna take my little whisk. Just give that a stir. Now, we're gonna add some of our roux. This is what's gonna help thicken this up. So we're just gonna keep stirring that. We're gonna put in about a teaspoon of roux. Um, you can always add a little bit more. It's like salt in any equation of a dish. You can always add salt. You can't take salt away. The same thing with roux. Um, once you've thickened it up to a point, uh, and if you've thickened it too much, well, you're shit out of luck. So just be a little bit careful with that. So I'm just gonna add a touch more and get that thickening up. And we're just about there. You want it, like I said, like the consistency of a, basically like an Alfredo sauce. So you've got chicken fettuccine, uh, chicken Alfredo, 
then you'll you'll know that consistency and you'll know when you reach it. Just remember as you gradually apply more heat to that, it's gonna thicken up and tighten up that flour into your dish. So I don't want it to boil that exactly. I want to keep that on medium heat and simmer that a little bit. And I might just add a little touch of butter to give that nice velvety texture uh, and add a little lend a little bit more flavor. So and as I'm stirring this, I can see that I might just need another little touch of roux just to help this along. It's just not quite as thick as I would like it. And this is getting back to what I'm saying with um, watching, watching your sauce and making sure that you're not adding too much at one time. It's a, it's a patient process, but worth it. So you can see that that's the consistency of that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my fish. we can just give that a little bit of a, of a light stir. Um, so I'm just gonna give that a light stir, like that's just, that just looks delicious, isn't that great? Um, so what we're gonna do now is we've got that fish in our sauce. We are going to have a glass, have a glass of wine. Of course we have a glass of wine. And don't forget a little bit for our uh, dish. That's the angel shirt. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to add the Parmesan um, to this dish now. So this is about a tablespoon. We're just going to fold that over, give that a nice little light stir. And then we are going to put this into our, our little crock here that we have. So we're just going to pour this inside, get all of our fish in there like so without making a big bloody mess. Um, and so this is almost equivalent to like basically a cup of fish um, and a cup of milk mixed with our, our roux and now we're gonna add our crumbs. What I generally like to do is mix the cheese up a little bit inside this, uh, inside this cracker crumb. Just give that a light toss with your fingers just so it's throughout and it's gonna help bind, bind up those cracker crumbs and uh, melt throughout and right into our dish. So don't be afraid, just get right in there. And uh, so you can see we built that up like so. We've got our cracker crust on top of there. Uh, and now we're gonna add a little bit more cheddar cheese on top, because why not, right? Everybody likes cheese, come on. Um, we'll put another little pinch of savory on top. Uh, I'll give that another couple twists of fresh cracked pepper. And now we're going to place this in the oven on 350. Um, because of this dish, we're going to put it in there for about 30 minutes. Uh, check on that in between, maybe at, at the 15 minute point. Um, if you're doing this in a casserole dish or a bigger um, type pan or tray, it's going to take a little bit longer. I recommend 45 minutes to an hour at that rate. Um, but seeing that we have these crocs, which is a nice little blessing, we're going to do that. In the oven it goes. This is already preheated, of course, but we're just going to set it back up and set our time. We're going to hit start. We're going to have another little sip of wine. And most important ingredient of this dish, uh, some Newfoundland screech. Um, this stuff will help you grow hair in places you didn't think it could. <laughs> so, cheers. Wow, that's good stuff. Holy oh, shit. Um, so I've already went ahead of course because nobody wants to sit here and wait for half an hour and listen to me talk all day about uh, Screech. So this is the finished product. It's been nicely cooked off. The crust is nice and golden. As soon as your crust gets a little bit golden, that cheese is browned up and melted. Um, if you're unsure uh, and you have a digital thermometer at home, um, stick that right down into a morsel of your fish right center of the dish and you want to be reaching. Get upwards of 155 and above. Uh, not too overdone, but uh, that should be a nice temperature for your fish to be still nice and moist and flake apart uh, so that you can enjoy it. Don't be afraid to squeeze a little bit of lemon on there at the end. Um, in ways of, I, I mean, I, I'm a wine connoisseur in, in some regards, so if I were to pair something with this, uh, you could go with something like a New Zealand uh, Sauvignon Blanc, any Marlboro region from uh, that country is quite nice. Um, Newfoundland doesn't have any wine that can really pair with it. It's not really a wine region, but you can go into the, the southern Ontario regions of the Niagara wines and get into something more along the lines of a Sauvignon Blanc by JT. I don't want to give too many uh, examples.
exact names for marketing purposes over the over the net. But um, I hope you enjoyed it, and that you might uh, take a chance and cook this dish sometime. So uh, it's it's a, it's a favorite of mine. Um, Every one of my relatives really enjoys and they love it and they pass this on to me so it's kind of a family recipe. Um, I hope to see everybody back and that you had, a, you had a great time watching me prepare this and that you give it a shot. So uh, thanks for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel, uh, Cooking in My Place with Chef Jason Gibbons. And I'll see you guys back again soon and uh, for more fun in the kitchen and uh, some more cool recipes. So thanks everybody. Take care. Cheers.